Breaking news coming in. Scientists in the United Kingdom have not been able to prove that Russian-made nerve agent Novichok was used in the Salisbury attack. The head of the military facility who is working on the samples collected from the scene has said that they have been unable to identify the precise source. But the British government, building on the initial report, used a number of other sources to piece together a conclusion only last month. British Prime Minister Theresa May told her country's parliament that Russian nerve agent Novichok was used to poison Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. Joining us from Moscow, and this should be interesting, Jack uh, Parikh, our correspondent from Moscow, is with us. Good evening, Jack. This is something that Russia has been saying from the word go, that they're the world's scapegoat, and the, the investigation has not come to a conclusion, and yet they're being blamed, and, and their diplomats have been, uh, have been expelled. How do, you, how do you expect Moscow to respond to this latest report? Well, I don't think there'll be too much excitement just yet for a number of reasons. Firstly, the UK government is, certainly isn't expected to back down from its position against Russia over this Salisbury attack. And also, it is all that this scientist is saying at the moment is that they can't prove that it was produced in Russia. They're saying that they do know that this is Novichok, that this is the nerve agent is used, but they can't exactly pin the source as being produced in Russia yet. So that's something that, um, I mean, it's, it's an initial very small piece of information we're getting on what they're doing there. And also it isn't port and down where this research centre is there. It's not their responsibility to decide whether they actually do believe it was Russia who conducted this attack or not. So there won't be too much excitement yet. But as you say, the Russian position is that this is a complete farce. In fact, in an interview with the BBC, uh, uh, the, the Russian EU uh, ambassador insinuated that it could have been Porton Down itself that released this nerve agent, with Porton Down being very close to Salisbury where the attack took place. Really, the diplomatic uh, spat between Russia and the United Kingdom and many other Western countries that have got behind the UK will continue and isn't likely to sort of ease off on the back of this, this small piece of information we've got from the scientists there in, in the United Kingdom. Right. Uh, oh, and, and while all sides have taken positions uh, on this, would it come as embarrassment for the British Prime Minister and her government? And is she expected to lose some of the support that she's received from Western countries, especially on this case? I don't think so. As I say just yet, the British government certainly isn't changing its position. They say that this isn't only about a sort of scientific investigation, that they have intelligence that makes them understand that it was a Russian-conducted attack. And that's, well, they, they haven't quite gone so far as that yet, but they, there's an understanding that this is based on intelligence reports and not only on scientific reports. So as yet, the British government is certainly not expected to back down. We will have to wait and see whether there is any news from the UK uh, Prime Minister in the, in the fallout from, the, from this uh, piece of information from Port and Down. Meanwhile, uh, just to recap for our viewers who may not have followed this case, Jack, uh, Russia has been asking to be made part of this investigation from the word go. It has indeed, and also we know that Russia has been asking for access to Yulia Skripal, uh, the daughter of Sergei Skripal, who was uh, poisoned as part of this attack. They want consular access to her. We know that the UK Foreign Office is, is considering that. Uh, so at the moment, but it looks like that they're going to ask Yulia Skripal whether the Russian authorities can have access to her. The, it's all resulted in a, over 130 uh, diplomats from a number of different countries being expelled, uh, uh, Russian diplomats being expelled, and then Russia expelling theirs in response. Uh, so at the moment, there is a sort of real, real tension between Russia and Western nations, and we'll have to wait and see whether, whether this uh, small piece of information changes any of it. <laughs>